Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about this Mac Mini I got really cheap and I wanted to show you why I got it. So I was looking for a small desktop replacement of the computer I was using till now for all the software I use in my repairs for my laser software and my microscope. So I ended up buying this Mac Mini from 2012 and I know it's a bit older model, but I think it will get the job done. Firstly, I chose this model because it's actually upgradable, unlike the newer models. You can upgrade the RAM, you can uh, change the hard drive with an SSD, and what I think it's even better is you can actually get two hard drives inside and get a lot of storage. The second part why I chose this model is because you can actually install Windows on it because some of the programs I use run exclusively on Windows and I really need it. And thirdly, it was the price. It was extremely cheap. It's cheaper than the SSD I bought to upgrade it with. Since the Mac Mini is an older model, uh, there are a lot of replacement parts available and they are usually quite cheap. So, cheap parts, windows and upgradability. What more can I ask for my future projects? When I said projects, I reminded myself that I would like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. Maybe you have an interesting project, but you don't have the necessary tools or maybe skills to make it happen. This is why you should totally check PCBWay. Your project maybe needs some 3D printing or CNC machining or even injection molding. No problem for PCBWay. Their site is quite easy to use. Select your needs, drag and drop your projects and select the materials. How about some undestructible titanium? That would do. You need a custom PCB? No problem. You need maybe a custom flex cable. Again, it's not a problem for PCB way. What's even better, they can do the entire assembly for you so you won't waste your time on this. They can do everything for you. Bring your project to life with five doors off on your first order and free shipping for orders over $29. And also, if you don't know how to do all this, you can ask them to do it for you. They can create your projects and everything related to them. Don't wait, just get to pcbway.com and make it happen. Now some of you may say, well, hey Balkans Way, um, this Mac Mini is old, also is quite slow compared to the new ones and it's no longer supported by Apple, so you can't get the newest Mac OS on it. To those of you, I'll say, yeah, you have a fair point here, but I really think this Mac mini is quite usable in 2024. I'm not going to run benchmarks and compare it with the newer models because we all know how this will look. And I don't think it's needed because no one is going to buy this Mac Mini to play games on it. But for everyday tasks like check the mail, browse the web, watch a movie, um, browse YouTube, watch a few videos, I don't think it's going to struggle. As you can see, I'm watching 1080p video and unless it's not 4K, I don't think it's going to be an issue for this Mac Mini. And especially as I'm getting it just to do some work stuff on it, like backups and running programs, it's going to be perfect. And the last reason why I got this older Mac is Open Core Legacy Patcher. With it, I can update this 2012 Mac Mini with the latest Mac OS version. So old, yeah, slow, maybe, but not obsolete. And this is about it, guys. I hope you find something useful in this video and I really hope if this video helps you uh, make up your mind if you want to buy such an old Mac. Just let me know if you want to see a separate video on how to update the Mac OS on older Macs and maybe if you want to see a video when I got the Mac mini and I cleaned it, disassembled it, replaced the thermal paste and so on. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.